Welcome back, friends. I'm Kalani, your host here on the Music Mindfulness uh, Show via World Drum Club. This is another Sunday service. Welcome back. Today's theme, there's nothing hidden in the universe. And we'll get into that more in a minute, but thanks for being here. Please feel free to comment, check in, say hello, say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the world. I took last week off, and I'll talk about why in a minute. A lot going on. Thanks for being here.
All right, welcome everyone. I'm excited to be here today. It's, uh, what is it, the 10th of January? Something like that. So welcome back. Today's theme is um, there's nothing hidden in the universe. And many people have said that in different ways. But um, I just wanted to reach out today and, and talk a little bit on this theme because it's really important. And why is it important? Because there's so much information out there that it's confusing. And my goal is to make life simple and enjoyable. And I, I have ways I do that, and I want to share them with you. So you can do that uh, if you're not already. And I know many of you are. Um, I know we all appreciate the music. So I'm going to start with the music, and then we'll get over to the mindfulness part. So often, you know, in music, um, there's lots of people online, you know, teaching, like I do, uh, playing, performing, and... People often ask questions about, well, what are you doing? How are you doing that? What was that beat, right? For example, or let's say when I play ukulele, people will say, well, what is that strumming pattern? Uh, or what was that beat you were playing on the, on the drum? And um, there's two ways you can answer that. I mean, you can, you can show the person, well, maybe three. You can say, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's a secret. Uh, and I'll sell it to you later over here, you know, and that's, that's part of the business model, I guess. But, um, one way we, we address that is to, you know, is to sh teach the person, right? Is to show the person, well, let me show you what I'm doing. And we have different ways of doing that, um, through notation, the explanations and analyzing it and breaking it down. Uh, and that's all fine. That's the educational model, right? Let me show you, uh, what it is, what to do. And um, in life, we need some of that, right? We need some of that education out in the world so we don't make the same mistakes other people make and we can do better, you know, right off the bat. Uh, we don't have to learn everything there is about the world on our own. However, the other side of that and um, something that I often, I wonder about is that people might, you know, watch a video, for example, I'm playing something and they say, what is that? How are you doing that? And I, part of me thinks, and I'm probably you too in whatever you do, you think, well, isn't it obvious? I'm doing it right in front of you. You can see everything I'm doing. You can hear everything I'm doing. I'm not hiding anything. So it's not a matter that, it's not the issue isn't that it's a secret, right? The issue isn't that it's hidden. It's not hidden. It's right there. It's you can see it, you can hear it, you, you may not understand it, you may not be familiar with it, but that's a different issue. So there's nothing hidden in music, right? If you listen to a piece of music, whether it's classical music, you know, contemporary music, everything is there, right? All, all the music is there. There's no secrets about what it is. Um, the, the question is, are you able to perceive of what's there and do, and also, are you willing to do the listening and the work and the, the pay attention? Are you willing to do that part of it uh, for yourself? And I think that's the way we learn, the way we all learn. And I don't know about you, but most of the things that I've learned and integrated in my life, I've really taught myself. Not that I haven't had very generous and talented teachers. I have, but teachers are just guides. A teacher is just somebody who points you towards something, maybe, you know, makes a suggestion about how you can teach yourself, right? Nobody can make you learn something. Nobody can shove knowledge into you, right? Everything you do, everything you experience, you do that yourself. You are, you're making that happen. So nothing's hidden in music, you know, if there's a beat, if there's a strumming pattern, if there's a melody chord, it's all there. It's all available. Just as is everything in the world, in the universe. There are no secrets. Everything that's here, obviously, by definition, is here. <laughs> it's observable. Now, the, the, the slippery slope, the tricky part, is that humans tend to 
uh, believe that there's a lot happening that's not observable or that some people have access to information or experiences or, you know, happenings, things that uh, other people are not. It's not available to them for some reason. And this is a business model. It's partially how people, frankly, it's partially how people control each other and wield some power over others. You know, you know the term selling secrets, right? It's common. It's all over. You know, it's a common business model. You know, if you want to know this, get my book, right? If you want to know this, I've got all the answers, but I need you to purchase this course. Okay, that's fine. I mean, people have been selling stuff, selling information forever, right? Um, now, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I want to remind you, and I remind myself, is that everything is available to me if I'm willing to do the work and observe. I can, teach, I can still teach myself everything that somebody else has taught themselves because there's nothing hidden in the universe. <laughs> nothing is hidden. So when somebody says they've got special information, and, and I'm not going to pick on anybody in particular, but I was listening uh, to uh, public supported radio, community supported radio, and there's a lot of guests on there and they do fundraising, a fun drive. And uh, there was somebody talking about, and bless him, he was a very, very articulate, smart person, but um, I was just smiling to myself because he was going on and on and on about all of the secret knowledge that he had gotten and, you know, traveled to exotic places and study with these apparently, you know, master teachers who had now passed away. And supposedly, you know, they had given him all of their, their secret knowledge. And now he, he has it and he's done all this work, you know, so you don't have to, right? And then he, of course, had all these courses and everything he was selling, all this audio and videos and I guess access to websites and things, you know, and, and we get that. I mean, that's fine. It, it, that was the consummate secret seller, right? Um, and if you want to buy somebody else's secrets, by all means, you know, you can do that. But just like in music, uh, you know, it's all available for you to explore yourself on, and teach yourself what you need to teach yourself and learn how you want to learn and, and be in the world of music in the way that makes sense for you. Just like you can be in the world uh, and experience everything in the universe in a way that makes sense for you and that works for you and that you get fulfillment from. And you don't have to do it the same way as someone else. And nothing is hidden from you. So just remember that. Nothing is hidden. <laughs> it's all there. It's all there. All the time. Uh, it's just a matter of paying attention, which is the mindfulness part, right? Be an observer. And if you're an unbiased observer, if you don't coat everything you experience with your own preconceived ideas or your own shoulds and coulds and musts and ought to haves, if you don't do that, uh, your chances for really having it in the present experience, in the moment, rich, uh, authentic uh, life experience go up. Um, everything's there. And the, I see, you know, I talk to a lot of people. I meet a lot of people in my travels. And what I see most often is not that people don't have the capacity to do what they want to do, be how they want to be. It's that they're preventing themselves from being fully activated, fully actuated, fully realized with uh, overthinking things. And they're really not giving themselves a chance. Um, it's like they're just not wiping the lenses. They're not cleaning. <laughs> They've got a lot of stuff that they're looking through that's uh, coloring the world in different ways. And, um, and we all have those. Those are biases. Those are beliefs. Those are, you know, the result of trauma, all kinds of things. But um, as much as you can, I hope you can find a way to just observe and receive all the information that's out there, the beauty, 
the curiosities, you know, the things if, and just take it at face value. You know, the, it is what it is. There's no, there's no conspiracy. There's no big secrets. All right. So that's, that's really the message for today. I hope that's helpful. Uh, feel free to disagree. Uh, but I hope that you just, you know, do, observe, take it in, be, uh, or be curious, you know, always curious, always just, wow, what is going on there? I wonder, let me look, let me find out. And, and also, my friends, the last thing I want to say about this is that the world doesn't have to be the same for everyone. Like your experience is, is unique because you're unique. And so, you, you know, people want to argue about, well, this is this and that is that and this means this and this was. And, um, and all, we're, all that people are saying when they say those things is, this is my experience of something, right? This, is, this was my experience of this XYZ, you know, tree or place or a person or an event. Um, and that's all they're saying. And your experience can be different. And that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the same. We don't, we don't want to waste our time arguing about, you know, what something is. When we say this is that, what we're really saying is this is my experience of that. All right. So I'm not going to argue about somebody else's experience of something. That's, you know, that's futile. Let's get back to the music. Um, so last week, before, before I get back to the music, actually, I do want to say I took last week off. We've got um, my family. We've got a couple COVID positive uh, people, including my wife, uh, my stepson, had them in the house and we were all separating. And uh, I thankfully have not contracted it yet. Uh, I am fully vaccinated and boosted. So I'm not that concerned about the health outcome. However, I am traveling this coming week to do some teaching I'll be up in Eugene, Oregon, and then next month I'll be in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, doing some teaching, and so I need to stay healthy. I need to stay COVID-free, uh, at least to do those events, and then <laughs> if I get it later, I can stay inside and, and um, recuperate. But I do want to also acknowledge all the people out there who either are struggling with health issues, or maybe, uh, maybe you're not, but you have loved ones and family members who are. And I just want to say, I wish you well. I, um, I know we all have concerns and uh, we'll just do the best we can. Be careful, be vigilant, and be em empathetic and understanding to everyone's situation. Everyone is really in, believe it or not, they're doing the best they can with what they have. And uh, maybe that we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Everybody's got a different experience of the world. All right, I'm gonna get back to playing some of these beautiful instruments. Today's music is in the key of D minor. Uh, I'm using hardwood music, tongue drums. I've got the hand pan. I forgot the brand of this one, but I'll try to look it up and leave it in the link. Um, I've got the Native American style flute. This was Pat Heron, D flute. I've used this a lot. This is a bass D. Um, Melodica or Melodian, you know, some other stuff, ukulele. Same things I usually use. All right, let's get back to some music. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, I'm going to clear out the looper and we'll get something new started here in a second. It's always a, a challenge to. Um, I'll operate all this gear while I'm doing a live, a live stream at the same time. Uh, but it's fun. It's exciting. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back in a minute to say goodbye. But here's another piece of music for you. Let's see. I have no idea what I'm going to play. It's always different.
Thanks for tuning in today, everyone. I'm Kalani. This is Music Mindfulness. Remember, nothing hidden in the universe. Go out and enjoy it. See you next time.